Legend Valley, I guess as you call it now, up in Thornville. We always used to talk about Guy Lake the Music Center back when I used to see the dead up here. But with the Dave Katz from Acoustic Coot that had the workout 2013, I'm Ramblin' Rob, the host of The Greatest Story Ever Told on 88.3 FM in Cincinnati. Thanks for being here. Dave, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem, man. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you guys ended up naming the band Acoustic uh, that was just a matter of sitting around uh, in, in my living room a long time ago. And naming a band is not the easiest thing to do yeah. necessarily. You start throwing around funny names and things like that. And uh, eventually we got on the word hookah because I had a brass hookah that I brought back from Egypt a long time ago. Nice. Nice. And uh, brass hookah sounded kind of cool, but it would make you think that we had horns in the band. True. So True. we kind of played around with the word hookah. And acoustic hookah sounded really good, but we're not an acoustic band. Um, and then, upon looking up the word acoustic, the actual meaning has nothing to do with electricity. And, and the definition of sound as it was heard. Gotcha. So it made gotcha. sense, but uh, we just, uh, basically that's why we decided to use the phonetic spelling. And that's where the schwa comes from. Uh, to, gotcha. to kind of subliminally, you know, say that we're using a literal meaning of acoustic and not non-electrical. Excellent. I did not hear that. So can you tell us about, a little bit about uh, who's not here as far as the members in the current incantation, I guess, of Acoustic Kuka? Who, who's not here? Yeah, who's not here? <laughs> um, well, hopefully everybody's here somewhere. Okay. But uh, as far as on this rock goes, uh, Eric Bernice is our drummer. Uh, Steve Sweeney is our lead guitar player. Uh, Eric Sargent, who we affectionately call Sarge, is our uh, other lead guitar player and rhythm player. And Songwriter, singer, and uh, Phil Risco is the bass player. Gotcha. So, how'd you guys end up uh, originally forming the band of that was back in like 1991 or something like that? How'd you guys originally meet and hook up and end up deciding to be a good idea to play together? Uh, there was an open stage in a place called the South Heidelberg on High Street in Columbus, Ohio. Sounds like a brewery. Uh, it actually wasn't no. a brewery, it was just a little dive underground kind of place. Um, and there was this open mic that I started going to, and uh, the guy who was running it and myself kind of started the band. We started learning each other's songs. And then uh, Steve, our lead guitar player and our original bass player, started just kind of showing up and sitting in with us and kind of started making the songs. And at some point we started thinking, well, we sound pretty good. Right, right. Maybe we should take this somewhere and just kind of grew out of that. Yeah, you guys have been together for uh, quite some time, and I guess everybody, you know, when they get into acoustic, it brings a little different you know, as far as music influences and you know, sneaking songs into the repertoire and stuff like that. Because you guys are kind of you know, known for your covers. So, tell us a little bit about uh, your musical and your influence. You, know, you try bringing into the sound and you know, when you write original music, who you're thinking. Um, well, I mean, I grew up listening to a lot of singer-songwriters like uh, Carole King, Elton John, Joni Mitchell, James Taylor, and a lot of uh, older, Lasher, yeah, and a lot of older, like, uh, horn bands. I am into, like, having horns. Yeah. If I could, I'd have horn, big horn <laughs> section. But, like, old Chicago, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Oh, yeah. I was really into Journey, like, the early incantation of Journey. Right. Um, I don't know if I consciously try to bring that into the music but I hey I think that's uh, just it just kind of naturally happens but I try to uh, I try to really vary the songwriting right. so that nobody can kind of pigeonhole us into I mean we're not a bluegrass band but we play some bluegrass stuff we're not a psychedelic band but we play some psychedelic stuff we're not a blues band but we play some blues stuff you know so try to mix it up keep it interesting you know up tempo down tempo loud soft Lots of jams, little jams, you know, <laughs> try and mix it up as much as we can. Yeah, that's one thing. Side, just, uh, just, just seeing the, the happiness, you know. Excellent, excellent. So, is there any place that people, if they hear you guys here and really like it, is there any place they can get your music online? You guys got a website, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, www.acoustic.com. It's spelled like the band, which is E-K-O-O-S-T-I-K.com. You go to the... Merchandise. And, uh, you pick up any. We have a whole bunch of CDs. Our latest one is called Bridge, and it was uh, released earlier this year. And we're real happy with that one. There's some older ones with some of the older members uh, of the band and stuff like that. But I can get T-shirts, you know, 
rent the gamut of normal merchandise. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, 2013 is kind of winding down. Do you have any big plans for 2014 with Kuzma Kuzma? Uh, 2014, well, bringing in 2014, we had a great uh, New Year's Eve show for the Theater in uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, with, uh, with Carlos Jones and the Plus Band uh, starting off. Best reggae, certainly outside of Jamaica, maybe better than a lot of the reggae in Jamaica, and, uh, in my opinion. And uh, Blue, Moon, Blue Moon Soup will be doing a bluegrassy kind of uh, late night show afterwards in the wee hours. And then in 2014, it's really about uh, you know the bill and uh, Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day weekend up in Clay's Park in uh, the Afro Canton area. Great new venue we're at. Um, it's uh, we're going to be putting on festivals those two weekends. We're looking forward to that. And uh, before that, in April, we're going down to Jamaica again. and hoping a lot of people will join us down there. Right. Well, that sounds like a fun yeah. field. Um, I know uh, yeah. we went up to the bill for the very first time this year. And, like, it was very, uh, very good experience. I highly recommend having a place park resort uh, in the future. It's really a nice place to have. Uh, we can get a family there. It's really, really nice. Yeah. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here with a couple of quickies here. Um, looking back on all the years you've been playing music, playing live, and playing you know, in studio, do you have a uh, best musical memory when you look back and, and think about all the times and places and people you played with? I don't know if I can pick one best one. I mean, there's been some really, especially at Hooperville, a lot of them at this place right here at Legend Valley. Um, we had some amazing sit-ins with people like uh, Arlo Guthrie, which was really cool, getting him up on stage with us, uh, Yorma Kalkinen, uh, a couple times with Bob Weir were pretty epic, you know, jams with him. And, uh, you know, again, I, I mean, I think really the thing that I take the most is just, just meeting all the people, not just the musicians we play with, but right. just having shows in front of however many people, whether it be 20 people or, you know, 15,000 people or whatever it may be, and just, just the feeling that you get to take, you know, after the show and have a good time. That, that's, that's the most important thing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, as long as the fans enjoy it, uh, it needs to be self-perpetuated. So, I mean, uh, that's, that's the reason you guys are so popular. You can just come really out from under rocks and out of the woodwork and see you guys from all over the state and you know, all over the U.S. We're looking for some of the license plates and some of the people that we have in the past. It's just amazing how far we've been traveling to see you guys. Yeah, we're, we're lucky that we have such a... Um, it's a great fan base, and it's not necessarily the biggest fan base in the world, but it's the best. Amen. Amen. Do you have any shout outs you want to give to your friends or family? It's okay, anybody uh, you support along the way? Anybody help you out along the way or any charitable organizations you might start? Charitable organizations. Um, but right now, uh, you know, the, big, the big thing, is, I don't know if you call it a chari charitable organization, but it's uh, anything that's going for legalization of marijuana, especially medical marijuana. Right. Um, but legalization all around because it's just wrong. You know, the state of things are in right now is just wrong. But people, you know, my wife Cassie, my kids Dash and Vega, the rest of my band, the works for having us here today. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and you. No, oh, well, thanks. And you. <laughs> and all of you. Exactly. One quickie here, and then we'll just wrap this up. There's a lot of stuff to do here at the workout. What do you think your favorite Grateful Dead song is? <laughs> my favorite Grateful Dead song. Wow. Um, it could be an easy question. I don't know. It I could be a hard question. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you have time for me to think about that. Uh, <laughs> favorite Grateful Dead song. Or maybe your I would favorite hair. You can't pick a favorite song. You know, I mean, okay, if we're going with studio songs, I mean, I'm not like biggest Grateful Dead aficionado. I know a lot, but I saw him a bunch of times. Right. Um, but uh, the, the studio version of uh, Dark Star is really something. Right. You know, I mean, it's something, the whole production of it and, and what they accomplished with that. But, I don't know, my favorite, we'll go with that. Let's go with that. Sounds good, <laughs> sounds good. Well, Dave, I uh, thank you for joining me here on The Greatest Story Ever Told, live up at The Workout 2013. Look forward to uh, seeing you guys play. Thanks for joining us, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.